Dancing with the Stars Week 4 Episode Recap, Who Got Eliminated? Following Carol Baskin's elimination at the end of Disney Night last week, only 13 couples remained in the competition. Nellie and Daniela Caragoc were the first performance of the night, dancing the Paso Doble to All I Do Is Win. Carianne Nava said she wanted to see a breakout dance from Nellie, however, the judges only gave them a 21 out of 30. Chriselle Straws and Gleb Savchenko danced the Foxtrot, and the judges praised her improvement and growth week after week. Derek Huff praised Stas's performance as her best dance of the season so far. They scored a 22 out of 30. Monica Aldama confronted Valchmer Koski about his approach to coaching, telling him he needs to be more supportive of her in order to build her confidence, and he thanked her for being honest with him in communicating her needs from him as a coach and teacher. They danced to party in the USA and the judges loved their chemistry and performance. They scored a 24 out of 30, Monica's highest score and first eights of the season. Anne Heche and Kao Matsep danced the Paso Doble today, and the judges applauded her progress. They scored a 21 out of 30. Neve Schumann and Jenna Johnson danced the rumba to a Celine Dion song, which was significant to Schumann because his wife loves Celine Dion. They scored a total of 21 from the judges. Justina Machado and Sasha Farber danced a vivacious salsa for their week 4 performance and scored a 24 out of 30. Caitlin Bristow and Artem Shevintsev danced the Viennese waltz and dedicated it to her boyfriend Jason Dartek. They received a 25, with a 9 from Carrie Annie Naba. Johnny Ware and Britt Stewart danced to Elton John, and he dedicated his dance to his mom. They scored a 24. Jeannie Mai and Brandon Armstrong danced the tango to Seven Nation Army. They scored a 21 out of 30. Vernon Davis and Peter Murgatroyd danced to Let's Stay Together, which Davis said reminded him of family and his grandmother, who raised him and his siblings. The judges noted Jesse Metcalf's improved musicality with his partner Sharna Burgess but Carrie Ann said she wants to see him bring more of what he's doing in rehearsals to the ballroom floor. They got 21 points, landing them at the bottom of the leaderboard. Sky Jackson dedicated her dance this week to her late co-star, Cameron Boyce, who passed away in 2019 following complications with epilepsy. She and Alan Burstyn danced the Foxtrot, to Ordinary People by John Legend. Huff praised it as his favorite dance of the night and said she is a gorgeous ballroom dancer. Jackson earned the first 10 of the season from Carrie Ann, and two nines from Huff and Bruno Tonioli for a total of 28 out of 30. For the final dance of the night, A.J. McLean and Cheryl Burke danced to the Backstreet Boys Larger Than Life, with the Backstreet Boys projected onto the backdrop of the stage to virtually support their bandmate. They scored a 24 out of 30. At the end of the night, the couple eliminated were Anne Heche and Kao Matsep. After an unexpected technical error, Tyra Banks clarified that the bottom two couples were Anne Heche and Kao Matsep and Monica Aldama and Valchmer Koski. Banks announced the bottom two with three couples still on stage awaiting results, after previously declaring Monica and Val safe from this week's elimination. Aldama and Schmerkowski re-entered the ballroom, taking their place on the stage to determine if they would go home or return to the competition for Week 5. When it came down to the judges to choose who to save, Carrie and Nabot chose to save Monica and Val. Derek Huff agreed that he chose Monica and Val, which meant that Anne and Kao were sent home. Bruno Tonioli said he also would have voted for Monica and Val, making the choice unanimous. New episodes of Dancing with the Stars Season 29 air on Mondays at 8 7 C on ABC. She said, I know why this big hate, who made your mistakes and